students we are in chapter 13 that is your network cabling so in the previous classes we have discussed all the introduction that are related to network cabling and next we completed what are the types of network cables in that we have discussed how many cables yes totally we have discussed six cables so what are the cables we have discussed coaxial cable twisted pair cable next one it is your fiber optic cable next one it is your usb cables next one serial and parallel cables and the next one it is your ethernet cable so these are the cables types of cables that we have discussed in the previous class similarly in the previous class we have started the introduction that is related to ethernet cabling components so you people know ethernet bare and all you will be using the ethernet cables yes when you people are in need of internet connection between your computers you people are going to use the ethernet cable so ethernet cable is mainly used for the purpose of internet connection for your computers okay va yes so if you are going to have a cable then what type of connection you people are going to have yes you people are going to have wired connections for network you people are going to use which concept wired network so by means of two ways you will be getting the internet connection what are the two ways yes first one it is your wired and the next one it is your wireless okay va wired and wireless so ethernet cabling concept will be coming under which one it will be coming under wired network concept okay va so for mainly for the purpose of this one for connection between each and every computer the cable mainly used is rj45 ethernet cable okay va which type of cable is used rj45 ethernet cable is used so this cable is made up of three main components it is going to have main component so what are the components that we are going to see okay ma so what is the first component yes it is your patch cable it is your patch cable and the next component it is your rj45 connector the next one it is your rj45 connector and the next one it is your ethernet port next one it is your ethernet port and the next one it is your crimping tool so these are the components for ethernet cabling so in that while we are discussing this itself we have already discussed what is the definition for ethernet cabling so what do you mean by ethernet cabling so ethernet cabling is nothing but is the process of connecting the computers with other devices so what is ethernet cabling yes it is the process of it is the process of connecting the computers with other devices with other devices using using what it is going to yes ethernet cable ethernet cable so it is called as your ethernet cabling so this is your definition for ethernet cabling okay va wow. yes what is ethernet cabling yes it is the process of connecting the computer with other devices using ethernet cable so the connection is mainly done by means of ethernet cables yes by now we are going to discuss each and every component the first one it is your patch cable rj45 connector next one it is your ethernet port and the next one it is your crimping tool yes first we are going to discuss the patch cable first we are going to discuss patch cable patch cable is also called your twisted pair cable so this patch cable is also called twisted pair cable okay ma so we can continue with this one that is first point it is this cables are nearly made up of eight wires 
so the first point in the patch cable is it is going to have eight wires so the eight wires will be in same color no each and every wire that is in this cable is of different color so eight wires in different colors okay wow well. yes so just now i told you each and everything is of different colors so now we can see what are the colors you are having what are the colors you are having so now we can separate them okay wow well. so four first to four next to four so the in the case of eight wires the first set first not to tell us the first set we can tell like this if one four wires is of solid colors four wires is of solid colors and remaining four wires is of striped striped means what it is going to have some lines that's all so four wires which is of solid color and remaining four wires which is of striped for you okay one so these are the eight wires next we can see our next set that is just now i told you there are four wires which is of solid color so what are the colors you are having yes the colors are first one it is your green next you people will be having orange next blue and the next one it is your brown so the colors that are available are green orange blue and the next one it is your brown and the next combination of four colors you are going to have it is white green white green and the next one it is your white orange and next one it is your white blue and next one it is your white brown yes so totally these are the eight colors that are that are seen under the patch cable so already i told you patch color patch cable is also called as your twisted patch cable so what are the four colors first set of four colors green orange blue brown and the next one it is your white green white orange white blue and the next one it is your white brown so clear with the colors so totally the patch cable is going to have eight colors sorry eight wires yes each and every wire is of different colors okay ma so these are the eight colors yes based upon the manufacturing in which area it is going to manufacture or based upon the industrial standards here the ethernet cables are available under different categories for you the ethernet cables are available under different categories for you so like that you will be telling you no know, many versions are available like that it is also going to have many category so what is the category means first beginning it is going to have cat 3 next one it is your cat 5 next it is your cat 6 cat 6e and the next one it is your cat 7 so cat is nothing but it is your category cat is nothing but it is your category so the ethernet cables are normally manufactured in several industrial standards so based upon that standards it is categorized as category 3 category 5 category 6 category 6e and category 7 okay va so it is since it is going to have the last version that is your it is not your last version it is your latest version so why it is going to have the latest version yes first version will be having some drawbacks that will be rectified in the next one similarly it will be going on and going on so, so now you are having category 7 so this is your latest version so if it is a latest version what are the advantages it is going to have yes this category 7 is more faster the category 7 is more faster and it is going to have higher frequency and higher frequency okay va wow. so category 7 it is your latest and and in this case it is going to have very fast and it is of higher frequency so the frequency is normally measured in megahertz for you the frequency is measured in megahertz for you so the size is going to be increased means the speed will be decreased for you if the size is going to be increased means 
the speed will decrease size increase means speed will decrease for you so clear the cables the cables together with the mail connectors on each end are referred as your ethernet cable so how the ethernet cable will be like that for you people yes the ethernet cable will be like this only the ethernet cable will be like this only so at the end it is going to have at this part it is going to have the mail connector these two are the mail connectors for you if a single cable is going to have these two at the end means it is your ethernet cable so this is the way how your ethernet cable will be looking for you people okay ma yes so the end you people are having note so that end is called as your mail connector the mail connector is rj45 okay ma so for the purpose of connecting between two computers which cable is used yes crossover ethernet cable is used crossover ethernet cable is used ethernet cable is used okay ma for what purpose yes for connecting two computers but nowadays ethernet cables are designed for the connection between a computer and a switch or a router so early it is mainly used for the connection between two computers only but nowadays it is mainly used for the connection between a computer and a router or a switch okay so clear with the patch cable so what are the points that we have discussed under the patch cable i repeat it listen carefully so patch cable is also called as by another name it is your twisted patch so the, here the cables are eight wires so the cable it is going to have eight wires so totally four four it's your solid colors and the next one it is your stripe okay ma'am similarly what are the colors you are having yes you people know that and all that is your green orange blue next one it is your brown so under that just you people add white to that one that is your white green white white blue white orange and the next one it is your white brown similarly based upon the industrial standards it is categorized as from category 3 category 5 category 6 category 7 and another one is category 6a 6e why you people are going to have many category yes since uh, since many versions some drawbacks will be seen in the first one that is rectified in each and every versions now you are having the category 7 so category 7 it is nothing but it is going to have very faster and higher frequency okay ma'am similarly we finish the next one you are you are going to have two mail connectors in a single cable means that is your ethernet cable so clear with this point yes next we are going to see the next one connectors we will able to see this one yes this is here only you people are going to have eight positions yes here you are having no yes this is yours and in this side you will be having like this so just by clicking pressing this one it will be inserted you are able to see this one yes this part just by pressing this one it will be inserted inside your ethernet port that is available in your computer so this is how your rj45 connector will be yes it is your small plastic cup it is like a small plastic cup and it is similar to of your telephone jack but it is somewhat wider rj is nothing but it is your registered jack and 45 is nothing but it is your number of interfaces it is also going to have another name what it is hp 8c what it is 8p eight positions and the next one it is your eight connector so here it is going to have eight positions no here it is having okay va wow. yes thin like small thing you are having no yes eight position so in that in your laptop or your computer end you will be having the port just by this one it will be fitted inside so that it is going to have eight contact okay va wow. so that is your hp 8c connector yes by now we are discussing the component that is your rj45 connector so in this we have seen what it is now next we are going to see the wiring scheme 
so just now i shown you a cup like device for you know in that you people are going to insert the cable that we have discussed here adavi ipo or connector unakku kaatna illa so idukku munnoti nama patch cables paathirukomla and the cable ipo nama enna cheya poporam in the cup ku kulla insert panna poporam so before inserting that one so I just already i told you colors many colors it is going to have so over color ku some some reasons will be that that we are going to discuss by now similarly in the wire in the pin la in the connector la maatano insert pananum that we are going to discuss by now okay va so by now we are going to see the wiring schemes and the color codes of the connector so by now we are going to discuss the rj45 wiring schemes and color codes so we i'll just now I'll, I'll told you people that it is going to have eight small jack inside so when i am showing the connector for you the golden color like small small lines i shown it for you people know so that is your eight small lines in that only you people are going to insert the small wires you are going to insert or connect the small wires okay ma so we can see what are the colors color of the wire and what each and everything are going to do so the wiring schema can be done in two ways the wiring schema can be done done in two way the first one is your t568a okay va and the next one it is your t568b so these are the two ways in which you people can do the wiring so on the wire connection and the connector club insert pandradukku you people are having two methods the first one it is your t568a the next one it is your t568b so these are the two schemes or by the two methods you people are having yes we can see that one so in this is your first one okay why wow. that is for your a this is for your a and this is for your b so pin 1 it is white green stripe it is your white green stripe so it is tx tx means it is your transmission rx means it is going to receive tx is nothing but it is your transmission rx it is your receiver end okay va the first one it is your white green the second pin it is green the next third pin is white orange stripe white or orange stripe the fourth one it is your blue fifth one it is your white blue next one sixth one it is your orange and seventh one it is your white or brown and eighth one it is your brown so this is the in, in this way only you people are going to do the configuration for a method okay va so first in the first pin la ni enna color insert pannu one white illana white green stripe vaikkanum seriya rendavathu pin la edha maatano you have to go on with a green color third la white orange stripe fourth pin you will be having now in that pin you must have the blue color wire and fifth pin you must have blue white blue stripe on okay va and sixth pin la enna color wire da irukano orange color da irukano and seventh one you people are going to have white brown and the eighth pin you people are going to have the brown color wire so this is the way how you people are going to do the configuration in t568a and the next one it is your b next one it is your another method in this two method also you people can do the configuration which is more prefer better for you people you people can choose that one so under b the pin 1 is going to have which colors white orange color pin 2 is going to have orange color pin 3 is going to have white green and pin 4 is going to have the blue color and pin 5 is going to have which color white blue stripe color and sixth pin is will be in which color the wire that you people are going to insert in sixth pin will be green color and seventh one it is white brown stripe and the eighth one it is your brown so these are the pins one two totally it is going to have eight pins okay ma so in this these are the two methods by which you people can do the wiring connection so these are the two ways you people can do the wiring connection so this in the rent method end idukku nam or ipo cup size connector paathomla and the connector la eppadi configuration pannala abdin solli in this you are having two schemes that is you are having two methods the next to what we are going to discuss is we are going to discuss the pin details in your ethernet connector adavadhu unoda computer la or connector part irukumla அந்த பார்ட்ல எப்படி வயரிங் இருக்கும் அப்படிங்கறத நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் சோ பிஃபோர் என்டரிங் இன் தட் ஒன் ஹியர் யூ பீப்பிள் ஆர் இன் திஸ் ஒன் 
in this connector you people are having already you people are having four how many colors wires you are having eight wires but in that 22 pairs are morely used for you people that is your orange and green these two color are only mainly used so these are the one mainly used okay wow. orange and the green color so similarly blue and brown are mainly used for the phone connections only that is blue and brown mainly for phone connections only okay wow. yes so orange and green only mainly used for the purpose of connection in our in our computers and blue and brown color are used for your phone connections mainly used in isdn or your phone connection so just now we have finished all the things that is pin details in your ethernet connector ethernet connector next we are going to see the next pin pin details that is under your ethernet port ethernet port will be available in your computer backend the rear part and the many plugins you will be having and the, in that one only you people are going to insert the connector that just now we have seen just now we have seen a connector no it is a plastic cup like that that and all i explained it for you no we are going to insert that one in the ethernet port that is seen in your back end of your computer so just now in the connector here you people are having no in the idla every pin connection other wiring every could come rather just now we have finished yes or a cable yes we can see a cable also yes here you people are having wires no different colors of wires you people are having no wires are ka yes you are having all the colors what else we have discussed by now that wires are inserted in the pins here see here everything is inserted here based upon the schemes that you people are having two schemes you are having no a and b based upon that each and every wires will be inserted in the pin for you people are able to see the wire yes this is your connector like this only so this cable is an example for your ethernet cable both the ends the both the ends the cable load of end end on a gear mail connector rj45 connector no matter come on so this is your ethernet cable so clear with this one clear with the wiring scheme for your connector yes next we are going to see the wire pin details for your ethernet port next we are going to see the pin details for your ethernet port here it is going to have how many so just now the minus will term connector like you are going to have eight means in that also you people will be having eight in that also you people will be having eight so ethernet port so first pin pin okay wow what is the first pin is going to have yes it is going to have the transmission positive transmission positive and the next pin two pin two is transmission negative pin two is transmission negative pin three it is your receiver 40 receiver positive it is your receiver positive yes pin four it shows the reserved it is reserved reserved means you people can use it as you people wish so during future if you people are going to have any connections means during that time you people can use this one similarly five seven eight is also reserved five seven eight also reserved sixth pin it is your receiver negative okay wow. so these are the pins that are seen in your ethernet port so these are the pins seen in your connector don't forget it these are the pins in your connector and these are the pins in your ethernet port so pin 1 is your transmission positive next one it is your pin 2 is your transmission negative 
and pin 3 is nothing but if your receiver positive and the pin 6 is for your receiver negative so 4 5 7 8 is reserved reserved means so future if you people are going to have any configuration like that means you people can do with that remaining pin so it to pin irukku adla naal pin enna panikanga already avanga program panitanga so remaining four pins you people are going to have wanakka ad appra ni program pannanu virumina enna panikalam you people can program it so clear with the concepts what else we have discussed by today yes first what else we have discussed we have discussed the patch cable that is introduction related to ethernet cabling next we finished the patch cables that will we will be having 8 wires like that and all we have discussed next we finish the ethernet uh, connector that is your rj45 connector so what and all we have discussed i have shown you a connector also it is a plastic cup like that and all we have discussed next we finish the wiring schemes for your ethernet pin and that is your connector and next one it is your ethernet port both we have discussed okay ma so this table this table is for your connector cup like device is shown you know and the connector la in the configuration of pin panna no brother in the either so either ethernet port it will be available in your computer only don't don't confuse it this part will be available back of your computer and this is your wire or it is your cable that you people are going to have so clear with the concept that we have discussed by today yes students remaining we can continue in the next class yes thank you students